1787, approximately three quarters, three quarters of the people on earth went under some form of enslavement, serfdom to Russia, debt bondage, or indentured servitude. Three quarters of the world's population. There were no slaves in Britain itself, but the vast majority of its people accepted slavery as perfectly normal. Every Briton knows the building where the 12, 12, 1215 Magna Carta was signed. Every American, every American, knows the Declaration of Independence was adapted in Philadelphia in 1776 in the building later known as Independence Hall. But another such milestone, which is much, much more important than the Magna Carta and the Declaration of Independence, equally worth celebrating that too few people remember. The document involved is merely the minutes of a meeting. Yes, the minutes of a meeting. And if you go today to the spot where this meeting took place, at 2nd George Yard in Britain, a small courtyard in London's financial district, you will find no monument, you will find no plaque, you will find no troops, uh, tropes of school children. Only the service entrance to an office building. And what happened that day, the reverberations from what happened on that spot, on that late afternoon of May 22nd, 1787, eventually caught the attention of millions of people. Around the world. Including the first and greatest student of what today we call civil society. The result of a series of events began that afternoon in London. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is about slavery. This is about the abolishment of slavery. This is, this is slavery. This is like the end of slavery. This is what caused the end of slavery throughout the entire world in 1777, May 22nd, 1787. That was the end of slavery. This is the beginning, the beginning of every single social movement since 1787. Every single major social movement in the entire world because of that day. Alex D. Tocquel, excuse my French, decades later, he is the most, he's the greatest civil society person ever. He's, he's, he's the king of civil society. He's the person that started social movements. Um, De, uh, he's a French man, and he said that that day, that single day, was absolutely, positively, without precedence, if you pour over the histories of all the peoples, I doubt you will find anything more extraordinary. This day is the most important day in the history of social movements. Um, Gandhi, um, Martin Luther King, every single person that was, that changed society today, including some of the people in the Soviet Union, is because of this person, is because of this event. So that building, that once stood at St. to George Yard, it was a bookstore. And 12 Quakers came into that bookstore, and what they did is they went in and they signed a document. And this document basically said, we are going to end slavery. And go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. So, the goal they said in this little meeting like, how many people are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So basically, there was one other person. So there were 12 people, and they sat in this little thing, and they said, you know what? We are going to end slavery in our lifetimes. Next slide. In their lifetimes, these 12 men saw the abolishment of slavery in Britain. In Britain. Britain was the largest and the most powerful country in the entire world at the time. It was the British Empire. The sun never set on the British Empire. 12 men ended slavery. And that is the reason today that we no longer have slavery. 